It's such, been it's such an interesting matchup throughout the years um, with the two sisters having to play each other. And that's it. It's all over. Not only are they sisters and obviously grew up together, but they play alike. And so it's very tough for either of them to play their best tennis against each other. So a great moment this for the 21-year-old American who did just what her father said she would do, and so did Venus. They are the numbers one and two in the world. And he said when they were about 11 that one day they'd win in Australia. It's just been an amazing story to follow throughout the years. Well, when I'm playing on the court with her, I think I'm playing like the best competitor in the game. And I don't think I'm chump change either. She's done it. Venus Williams is through to her second Australian Open final. 14 years after doing it the first time. You have to control yourself and then you also have to hopefully put your opponent in the box and then this opponent is your sister. And it'll be the Serena and Venus show, a Saturday night blockbuster. Williams at the top of her game. I'm still taking it one point at a time. No matter what happens, I, I can't lose, she can't lose. It's just gonna be a great situation. Serena Williams closing in on history. She can almost reach out and touch Grand Slam number 23. It's, you know, triumph and disaster witnessed in real time. This is why people live and die for sport, because you can't fake it. It's either you do it or you don't. Please welcome to Margaret Corderina for the first time in 2017, the world number two, Serena Williams. I've been number one for so long so many times and I've done things that are amazing. Sometimes that ranking really means a lot, but also I feel like sometimes winning events and just being able to compete means just as much. Relaxed, calm, ready, and poised. Well, it had been such a long time since Venus had made a deep run in a major. We weren't quite sure about Venus. You know, she Venus a year older. She was 36 at the time, and you wondered, you know, how, how much more engine she has left. Just like every player here, I put in a ton of work, so I'm, I'm not coming all the way to Australia just to, for kicks and giggles, so I'm, I'm here as a competitor. That's pretty much what it is. Venus, since she had Sjogren's syndrome come into her life, it really had problems going deep in majors. She's still capable of playing well on a given day, but sustaining it over two weeks, we hadn't seen a lot from her in that regard. Each player in the draw has the unbelievable ability to play tennis. And there's some who've won more championships than others. But it's because we know how to play this game. And it's, it's pretty serious stuff for us. And we saw Serena's draw is brutal. There's no, there's no easy start there against uh, Belinda Bencic first round and having to play good tennis right from the hit. Because I'm so focused when I play, I'm so intense. And not only when I play, but when I practice, I am incredibly focused and perfection is required. I feel like when I have nerves, it makes it real and um, it makes me human. And I feel like that nervousness is a fire and a desire that I get every single match. This is the, probably the most interesting Grand Slam, you know, because you always have some surprises. There's a lot of young players that are coming through. It's going to be an upset week. What are you looking forward to most today? Oh, you know what? I'm going to be biased a little bit and talk about Serena Williams. We expect her to win, and she expects that of herself. Yes. She's not coming here to make the quarters, the semis, or even the final. She wants this title back. 22-time major champion contesting Australian Open for the 17th time. Even great champions feel nerves, no matter what the situation, and clearly no matter what the round as well. Can she navigate her way through these turbulent waters, Serena Williams? wasn't as aggressive as I was during those games. And, you know, she started playing better. I made a few errors on some key points, but for the most part, I still was going for everything, and I was able to close it out. And that's that. It was a tough opening round for Serena Williams.
Yeah, I mean, I, I tried today, but it was not enough. And I think she was very focused and played good. But obviously, it's not enough against Serena. It's not enough to play just, like, not bad. first round, uh, she was uh, pretty persistent. Talk a little bit about the match. Yeah, I mean, just from warm up, it looked like she was just ready to go, uh, hitting it solid. And I really have to give her a lot of credit for playing a match that was, you know, not a lot of errors and just relentless. And uh, I guess when I walk out there, I have to expect that from my opponents. Talk about your joy. Do you still just feel a real joy for, for the game and the sport and, and what it means? For sure. I mean, you saw me out there today, the intensity level and um, what it takes to win e in even a first round match against a player you may not have, not even know. It's hard work. It's not easy. So that, that love is there. Venus and I work so hard and still to this day, we work side by side each other, practice, we motivate each other. I mean, Venus is with her illness and she's doing so much for people that have what she has and, you know, can continue to hope and realize that they can be strong too. And Venus with the backhand down the line for the winner. And there's the match. So Serena and Lucy uh, look like they're about to come out on court here. But she will be a tough opponent for Serena Williams tonight if she is back to her best. I know that being Serena on the court is being confident. And I should be confident because there's no other Serena. I mean, I'm Serena. Maybe there's another one, but she's not in tennis. Oh, phenomenal play from Serena Williams. That was not an easy match. Nicely done. That's as comprehensive as it gets. Again, I don't have anything to prove in this tournament. I'm here just, you know, doing the best I can. And obviously I'm here for one reason, but at the end of the day, this is all bonus for me. And Serena Williams completely untroubled. There's absolutely no pressure on the German. She can just play the match of her life. She's just going to come out all guns blazing and see if she can cause a huge upset. Williams getting more of an angle, but on that. And Williams has that big smile. It's the smile of someone who's just made it through to the quarterfinal of the Australian Open. Really, at the end of the day, it's about walking to the net, shaking hands as the winner. So however that happens, if it's two sets or three sets, that's how I want to I wanna walk to the end as a winner. It's hard to reach, she's scrappy, she gets a lot of balls back. She definitely plays a different game from the other three players I played before. Serena Williams powers on, the six times champion is through to the quarterfinals. Of course, I have absolutely nothing to lose in this tournament and everything here is a bonus for me. Obviously, I'm here to win. Um, hopefully, I can play better, I can only go better. Well, this is developing into a highly entertaining world-class contest. She's joined her sister in the quarterfinals. Venus is on the other side. It was easy from the start, and I'll stay with Serena. I just feel like she gets stronger and stronger. She's she's on a mission to to uh, to you know to get out of the tie with with Steffi Graf and have the most Grand Slam wins. I believe she's going to do it here at uh, in Australian Open. Well, I picked actually Coco Vandeve um, at the beginning of the tournament. I just felt that the court surface is suitable for her. She's very powerful, very strong. Well, the theme continuing. The world number one in the men's out earlier today. World number one in the women's out tonight. I think you've got to favor Serena, obviously. Uh, you know, with uh, with Angie out, um, you know, it does open up the draw, I think, for, for her. 
Venus Williams is a, it's a miracle that she's still playing. And, and it, the even bigger miracle is that she's actually playing better now than she was three or four years ago. She seems more focused now, more motivated now. And obviously it helps her to have Serena doing what she's doing and it helps Serena to have Venus do what she's doing. Yes, uh, she continues to create history, Venus Williams, through to the semi-finals of the Australian Open for the third time in her career. I have a lot to give. I have a lot to give to the game. I feel like I have a lot of great tennis in me. So anytime you feel that way, then you continue. And why not? I have nothing to lose. I don't shy away from a challenge, necessarily. I never have. steamrolling her way to her first major semi-final. I'm sure she's going to want to be in her first final. I'm going to want to be in my only my second final here, so it's going to be a well-contested match. I can't believe this. This is crazy. It's been 18 years since Mirjana lucic Baroni made a major semi-final. I never could dream about being here again. Let the fairy tale continue. And I really think it's so important not to underestimate anyone. I'll fight hard. I'll be okay. Well, it's almost a bit of a retro sort of tournament, <laughs> the way we're looking at what, it. What, the got... oldies? And what odds would you have had on picking these four semi-finalists at the start of the tournament? Serena Williams? Fine. Venus Williams? Yeah, just about. Coco Van Der Wey? Not sure. Miana lucic Baroni. Well, you'd have said, what a story that would be. And what a story it is. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That's the beautiful thing about sport, as I like to say. It is the best form of reality TV. There are certainly no scripts here. the fourth time she's going to face match point. It's on her serve, but it is a match point for Venus Williams. She serves, she lands it in. Forehand from Williams, forehand from Van Der Wey, goes long, and Venus Williams can't believe it. She clutches her head, she spins round. She rushes to the net, she's back in the final of the Australian Open after a 14-year absence. It's extraordinary. Venus Williams wins 6-7, 6-2, 6-3. And I don't even remember what happened on the last one. I just know that now the match is over. You have to give credit where credit's due. Uh, my opponent played better than I did today. And when it mattered um, in the points on her service games. Let's not gild the lily here. I mean, she won her last major singles title in 2008. Yep. That is very nearly a decade ago. Yep. Now you have to watch the next match, which incredibly your little sister at 35 years of age is in, in another semi. Are you going to sit back and watch it? It's an unbelievable thing to watch Serena Williams play tennis, I have to say. That girl is... She can hit the ball. She's such a competitor. It's unbelievable. So I would love to be out here, and I would, more than anything, love to see her cross the net for me on Saturday. And she steamrolls her way through the opening set, looking to set up a final showdown with her older sister, Venus. Yeah, I was a little bit empty. It was, it was tough. I was really trying. I don't know how it looked. I know it happened very fast. I was trying really hard to get back into it. Awesome display of power and control in this semi. Living on the edge against Serena Williams, you're taking up too much space. And it'll be the Serena and Venus show, a Saturday night blockbuster. It felt really good because I felt like it was in my hands to force this Williams final. So believe it or not, I was feeling a little pressure about that, but it felt really good to get that win. Venus is playing some good tennis. She's mm. serving and coming in. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure there's a sibling rivalry that we don't know about every single day. These matches always have a sense of so much emotion from not only the sisters, but also from their support staff and from their family.
hold my hand up. I never thought I would see the day that Venus Williams would get back into a major singles final. I thought she was done, but <laughs> clearly she's not. I'm not necessarily focused on her 23 at this point because I also have to go for the title. I want to win number eight. I've never been in a Grand Slam final yet that has been given to me. So I know I have to go out there and earn it and take it and fight for it. We both deserve to be here. We both work so hard and we both are capable of doing it. As competitors, both of us know that in order to sleep at night and live with ourselves, we have to go out there and give our best. And that's what we'll both do. This is probably the moment of my career for sure. Playing Venus is stuff that legends are made of. Venus Williams, Serena Williams. What a contest this is. I don't think we're going for the greatest story in sports. <laughs> we're just going for some dreams. Absolutely beautiful evening. It's been 25 degrees or something during the day. And Venus Williams and Serena Williams are striding to the baseline. And we're just about ready to go here. Ready. Here we go. Venus serves, she goes down the middle, she lands that in, that's nicely backed by Serena. In fact, it's gonna land short. Venus didn't take the chance to put it away. Out wide goes Serena, clips the net cord, just lands on Serena's side and she got there. And it's a break back point for Venus. Surprisingly long from Serena, she's given up the early break of serve, one game more. Back on serve again. Oh my word, what? it's a break point. Three double faults yes. in that game. There is a crackling intensity to these rallies at the moment. Down the line, Serena hits the winner. We've played 41 minutes of this first set. Is it about to end? Clean ace and a double fist pump from Serena. She's dealt with all the nerves and the tension in that first set and has closed it out by six games to four. We are level at three all in this second set. Venus should kill this, she does. Oh, take that, there's the response. Well, Serena doing nothing wrong in those last three points. It was all created by Venus. And listen to the crowd. That Ooh. is the start of a real atmosphere in this final. A forehand by Serena is wide. Great forehand by Venus Williams. Venus comes in and kills that. Brilliant, five points. Forehand from Serena, this is the long rally we were looking for. Forehand from uh, Serena, onto the sideline, Venus goes wide. This is where you know it's a final. This is where the crowd wants more. Just when you think it's over, it's not over. Venus. Serena is there again, backhand from Venus, cross court. Off the line by Serena, forehand by Venus, off the frame, onto the sideline, Serena nets! That's the rally to get the crowd going. What an unbelievable rally. 24 shots. This is what it comes down to. Match point. Maybe Serena gets there, goes up the line. A lob by Venus, it's going out. Serena sinks to the ground. She's won a record-breaking 23rd Grand Slam singles title. Venus comes round the net and the two embrace. What a beautiful embrace it is. Two sisters. I think Serena just said, you mean everything to me. What a champion, Serena Williams. Back to world number one. It's such a great feeling to, uh, to, to have 23. It, it really feels great. Um, yeah, I've been chasing it for a really long time. It feels like a really long time. And when it got on my radar, and I knew that I had an opportunity to, to get there. 
and I'm here. I'm here, and it, it, it's a great feeling, and no better place to do it than Melbourne. And one thing I've learned in the past is I have to enjoy it, and that's the beauty of winning Australia. You have time to like enjoy the moment before the next Grand Slam. I really would like to take this moment to congratulate Venus. Um, she's an amazing person. I guess I've been here before, you know, so um, I, I really enjoy seeing the name Williams on the trophy, so this is a beautiful thing. There's no way I would have anything without her. She's my inspiration. She's the only reason I'm standing here today and the only reason that the Williams sisters exist. So thank you, Venus, for inspiring me. Venus and I work so hard and still to this day, we work side by side each other, practice, we motivate each other. Like I said on the court, every time she won her match, I felt obligated to win. I was like, I've got to, I've got to be able to win too. So the motivation that she gives me is it's really second to, to nothing. It's just, it's, it's amazing.